In this video, I will show you how to open Dispute on AliExpress app 2024. So let's jump straight into it. Now, in order to do this, you can only open up a Dispute on a purchase you've actually made. So if you have added something to your cart, but you've not actually purchased the item, of course, that's not something you can dispute. It has to be an item that has actually been shipped out to yourself that you've brought. Now for myself, I've not currently got anything that I've ordered, so I cannot show you the physical steps on how to do this. But what I have done is put together a quick guide, which I'm gonna talk you through now on how you can go ahead and open dispute on the AliExpress app in 2024. So in order to do this, of course, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is open up the AliExpress up on your device and log into your account using your email or phone number and password. What you need to do next is tap onto the account icon which is going to be at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then select my orders from the list of options. From here what you need to do is scroll through your order history to find the order that you want to dispute. Then go ahead and tap on the order itself to open up the order details. Now on the order details screen if you scroll down to the bottom you're going to see a open dispute button so you just want to go ahead and tap onto that button. And then what you're going to want to do is select the reason for opening the dispute from the provided options. For example, item not received, item not as described. Next, go ahead and fill in the necessary details about the issue. Make sure to be as specific as possible and make sure to upload any supporting evidence such as photos or screenshots. Before submitting your dispute, make sure to double check the information you provided to ensure accuracy and then simply tap on the submit button to open up the dispute. Now you can track the progress of your dispute in the dispute section within my orders. Also, the seller may contact you to offer a resolution to your issue, so make sure to keep an eye on your messages. Just a few quick tips I wanna share with you guys is to keep evidence ready, so make sure to ensure you have all necessary evidence, like for example, photos or videos ready to upload when filing a dispute. Always communicate clearly and politely with the seller for a better chance of resolving the issue amicably. And also familiarize yourself with AliExpress's refund and dispute policies to understand what to expect. Now, by following these simple steps, you should be able to go ahead, open up a dispute on the AliExpress app effectively and obtain a resolution to your problem. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.